yeah, my own personal style, always been kind of athletic, um, where I've always been into basketball, so basketball shorts is always my thing. Um, T-shirts, uh, way back when it was old, kind of throwback jerseys and stuff like that. But everything just kind of matches the sneakers. Sneakers is always my top priority, so I start with the sneakers and just kind of match up from there. So it's always been kind of athletic wear, um, basketball shorts, wherever. And obviously that's been more acceptable the last couple of years, especially post-COVID. So it's been nice to uh, build a brand around that and I can wear this stuff every single day. Yeah, so I started back in 2020. I actually had the first box logo back in like 2016. Really didn't have anything to do with it until about 2020. When I decided I wanted to start my own clothing brand, that was completely inspired by the uh, sneaker culture. And I just kind of wanted to base that around there, how they did their collaborations and unique drops and different things like that. So I want to do that in a clothing brand style inspired by the sneaker culture. Welcome to my office. That's where all the inspiration from the brand comes from. Yeah, so this is the Jordan 11 Concord. This really got me into shoes uh, when I seen Jordan wear it back in like 95, I think it was. Um, the first time I was able to get it was in 2010 when they first released, and then again in 2018. So I got two different versions. So this was definitely the inspiration of where my love for shoes came from. It was actually started way back in 2007, 2008. I started working at Foot Locker. In six months, I ended up getting my own store um, as a store manager. So there I started to learn kind of uh, watching the other brands pay for space in the retail store. Um, when you walk by Foot Locker and there's shoes in the front window, um, those people are paying for that space. So we switched them out once a week and different things like that. You can see the the box logo. Uh, it's called Bad Box, but it is a shoe box. You can see with the shoelaces sticking out there. And then when I made the name Common Treasures, I wanted to have that spelled out in shoelaces. So you can see the details on the, uh, the Common Treasures is spelled out in shoelaces. So I want to keep it kind of sneakers themed and inspired don't want to work corporate i can do these things on my own i took little be bits and pieces of each job throughout the years and i was like okay i can do this on my own and start to understand um working with china and the transportation and different things out there and that's when i was like okay let me get serious about this i have a logo that i've been kind of sitting on let me let me actually do something with this yeah 10 years from now that's a big uh big timeline but um yeah just the expansion of the the brand common treasures uh building off everything i've learned in the last couple of years yeah overall just growing the brand as big as i can and, and 